22nd is Earth Day. And for those who are coming to hybrid learning, please make sure you have your mask on and check in in the front of the building. Hi everyone, this is Cheyenne, your Tech Geometry Tech Algebra teacher. My pronouns are they, them. I wanted to let you know that Day of Silence is coming up this week, Friday, April 23rd. If you don't know what Day of Silence is, it is an event that was created by a University of Virginia student named Maria Pulzetti in 1996. And she believed that when everyone takes an intentional vow of silence for the day, you can't help but notice the silencing effects of oppression. The way that so many LGBTQ youth are ignored by their teachers or their principals or their parents when they bring up the issues that they face. Now, yearly, millions of people participate by staying silent for the duration of their day. And at the end of the day, the silence is typically broken with a rally or a speaking event. At Benson this year, um, the Benson Gender and Sexuality Alliance, a club that exists here, would like to invite the greater Benson community to honor the Day of Silence with us. But we recognize that remaining silent all day looks really different on Zoom or Google Meet. Therefore, we want to create a different way to honor the Day of Silence. We encourage anyone, particularly our straight and cisgender allies, to participate by changing their profile picture on Zoom or Google Meet to show some text and imagery that brings awareness to the issues that LGBTQ students face every day. We know that changing the oppressive conditions of our lives starts by learning about it. So for example, did you know that 40% of youth who are houseless are LGBTQ? There's a lot of reasons for that. So the Benson GSA believes that uh, it would shed some very important light on the harassment and systemic oppression that many LGBTQ students face in our own community and beyond if all of these screens were instead united in bringing awareness to the issues. So please join us in doing this very simple but important thing. Change your profile picture on Google Meet or Zoom. The second way that we would like to, uh, to honor the Day of Silence is by coming together on Friday, April 23rd at 4.30 p.m. on Zoom for our Breaking the Silence event. Our Breaking the Silence event this year will first consist of holding some space to just reflect on the day, talk about what it felt like to share something on your little screen, if you had any good discussions with your teachers or your classmates about the Day of Silence. And then the second part of that will be a workshop led by Benson's confidential advocate, Simone Halley and Hyde Nichols. And the topic of this workshop is how to support a friend in crisis. So you don't have to be LGBTQ to attend or participate. The issues that we'll talk about um, under the umbrella of how to support a friend in crisis won't necessarily be exclusive to issues that faith, that LGBTQ students face. It sh there should be a little bit of everything for everybody to consider for resource building and strategy building. So you can find a registration link for the 4.30 p.m. Zoom workshop event in the description of this video and on the Benson Tech GSA Instagram and Benson Tech Leadership Instagram. Thank you. Hey, Benson. I'm here to um, let you know about this amazing opportunity through the Sustainable Agriculture Summer Internship. And it is an opportunity to make some money and work outside and meet some new folks from McDaniel High School, formerly known as Madison. So the program is all about running a garden. Um, you do not have to have any experience with growing vegetables or any of the things on this list but it'll be a way to potentially bring in a lot of the skills that you know from Benson, if you've done any construction classes, et cetera, and also learn so many new skills, such as seeding and watering and weeding and the process of growing your own food, um, as well as selling that food. And what's awesome is that there's two, op or two ways to get involved. You can either apply to be a farmer, which would be about a 15 to 20 hour commitment per week, but you would get paid for that. So it would be like a nice summer job or a second summer job if you wanna get out of the house after this year. And there's also an opportunity if, because for the farmer position you have to be 16 or older, if you just wanna 
be involved and you are not 16 yet or you don't have as much time as the 15 to 20 hours per week, you can also volunteer to be a gardener and learn some of these skills and still hang out at the garden and, and meet some people. So it feels like a really awesome opportunity to me. I will be there along with Miss Coleman sometimes. And it's a way to be outside and, and get out of the house and potentially make some money. So the applications for Benson students are due on May 1st. I keep wanting to say May 5th, May 1st. And if you have any questions or you want me to send you this application that I just showed you, please email me right here, egraziger at pps.net. All right, I hope to hear from a bunch of you and we've got two more months.